Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you the long-awaited, updated, best gear setup for every school at max level in Wizard 101. A lot of people have been asking for this video and it's finally here, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, uh, before we get started, I'm gonna go through every single school and I'll have timestamps in the link, uh, or actually in the comment section below, uh, with each school. And I'm gonna be showing you the two to three of the best setups for every single school in the game at max level. There are obviously some very niche setups with like make cast on your pet or war and stuff like that not going to be going over those i'm going to be going over your kind of just standard setups that are the best for every single school so let's just hop right into it starting with fire so typically uh in this meta right now resist is king and i don't see this going uh anywhere anytime soon so you generally want to have resist stats but i will also show you a glass cannon stat uh setup so here's sort of your standard fire setup you got about 80 uh 8700 hp 126 damage decent res uh good enough accuracy solid pierce good crit and block and then decent pips and shad. So to get these stats, you want to run the Malastare hat. This is probably the best resist hat for fire uh, because you still get shads, good pips, resist, all that stuff. With that, you want to run Dragoon's rope, which is very solid as well, uh, with the Dragoon's boots and the Dragoon of Thames, so you can get the triple bonus, which is extremely important for a school like fire because you want the peak conserve and the seven damage. It's like getting a mighty giver on your pet, which is really, really strong. Uh, for the wand, I recommend the executive wand, but you can also use the new caramel wand, which is quite good uh, or you could even use the celestia wand if you want to get pip conserve uh, but i i personally like the exact wand uh, for the amulet the uber universal amulet is the best one uh with this setup because you don't need um a set bonus some people might be thinking yo blake why not run talisman of the day star if you want to get extra pierce and stuff it's just not worth it in my opinion the uber amulet the extra health that you get along with the resist and block just makes a huge difference um it match to match so i would personally recommend the uber amulet if you can get it and the universal one is better than just the fire one as you can see uh, for the ring I would recommend the Aphrodite ring uh, on every school you'll see me rocking this because this is just the meta ring now uh, and definitely what you should be using for the pet you can kind of just do whatever you want um, some really good pets uh, like the pet itself would be like the e free pet you could do like the the frillosaur if you want the damage bonus you could do um, uh, even the one that gives you a trap card like you know the the scary Annette and the velociraptor even though you can't use the fire beetle king's house talked about potentially bringing it back in a different form the pet card and you still get the trap so if you do want to do traps like it could be good as for the stat itself i think you're better off uh you see the pet that i have right now you need to have sniper to make a resist setup work as a fire and not fence all the time um but I would probably recommend giving up one of the givers and instead getting mighty so that you can get even more res, even more pierce, and then you do get some damage. Because with the new changes, you do lose a bit of damage. As you can see, I have 126 damage with the setup, but it's actually 120. So giving up like a giver on your pet, you're not actually losing six damage. You would probably lose like four. And because you get that extra damage with the mighty on your dealer, you're really probably going to lose about three damage to get one more pierce, more res, that kind of stuff. So uh, I would probably recommend a uh breaker mighty double resist dealer sniper pet uh with this setup but yeah uh really doesn't make that much big of a deal for the mount you can also do whatever you want i usually run the clockwork courser but rock mount is also good if you want more pips and then i personally recommend the duelist deck but you can use omen if you want more copies for bubbles and stuff like that but yeah that is kind of your standard fire setup now there's another variation you can do uh with either the gold rope or the dragoon's robe um oh that's the wrong one that's the glass cannon setup this variation uh, gets you more res. So as you can see, I lose a little bit of HP, but I get 60 res, which is a lot. And your accuracy goes up too, which is nice. Um, but yeah, these stats are solid. It's just you give up quite a bit of pips and you do give up a lot of pierce as well. But your resist is really, really nice. So to do this, all I did was I swapped out the Dragoon Rope for the Spooky Rope. And then I swapped out the Uber Amulet for the Dragoon Amulet to make up for it. So this is another setup you could do. I'm sure you could do it with the Gulcher Rope as well. I just don't have it. Um, you could also go for like an all father setup if you want to go for like shatter and stuff like that i just don't think that the all father robe is that good because people can just like if, if, if the only time it really makes sense is if somebody doesn't have another aegis ready which usually they will or somebody who doesn't pack aegis at all and they just shield like 50 times like they put up like eight towers which people typically don't do because they know you have shatter so i just feel like it's not worth giving up stats and there's other ways to get around shields personally but yeah this is another resist setup you could do if you want to get like around six uh, and be more comparable to the defensive schools. And then this is a very good offensive setup right here. 
you get 156 damage, which is effectively 139, which is still decent. You are giving up about 17 damage, but you know, 139 is still pretty solid. So you get a ton of health too, 9.2k HP, decent res, good enough accuracy, good crit block, solid pierce, uh, and then very good pips and shads. And so to do this setup, basically all I did was I used a set bonus pet instead with some extra damage on it. You could take out a damage and do mighty instead. That would probably be better. Um, and then obviously you use the stompy bronze to get the damage value. And then I swapped out from the Mouser hat to the Dragoon hat, which is just really good. Uh, it, it, the, the Dragoon hat for fire is just cracked. It's just you give up that resist. But then, yeah, you got the Dragoon robe, Dragoon boots, and then you can rock a double, a double Uber to make up for it. So, yeah, those are the best setup, I think, for fire. Obviously, like I said, you can run some ward setups and stuff. But those are the best setups, I think, overall for fire right now in this meta. Let's move on, ties. Alrighty, so for ice, the setups are a little bit more simplistic in my in my opinion. There's really not too much you could do, but let me show you the setup. So this setup is kind of just the standard ice setup that everybody uses. Uh, you get about 11,000 HP, which is absolutely nuts, with very solid damage, 105, 73 res. And you might be thinking, yo, why use 73 res when it's actually going to be 62? If you don't know how the new resist and pierce works, you guys should definitely check out the video that I uploaded a while back. Um, it basically just explains how it works and having high resist is still really really strong uh you do get 20 accuracy it's probably the worst part about this setup but that's kind of a risk that ice can take uh because you're so beefy so out of all the schools if you're gonna fizzle it's probably the most okay on an ice obviously it's still not good but the rest of your stats are really strong i also like to run uh infall on my ice like the infall treasure cards because it's a nice way of not needing to strike but still getting extra damage you could do that as well if you plan on going for a lot of hits you know frostbite into weaver etc uh for the crit and block, it's kind of bad, but it doesn't matter too much. 32 pierce is decent, especially for an ice. Um, and then you get solid pips, solid shads, and really good pip conserve. So for this setup, what I'm using is the croc hat. This is definitely the best hat for ice. It just gives you a bunch of res, decent shads. The, the stats overall are pretty bad compared to the dragoons, but you get 15 resist, which is really important for an ice. Uh, for the robe, dragoon is the way to go. Uh, it's just so good for ice. And then you want to go with the dragoon boots and the dragoon theme as well to get the triple bonus for the uh pip conserve for the wand i would personally recommend the winter wrapping paper uh you could also use the new camera wand but i think this one is extremely good you get some shadow wand hits along with really good shad really good pip conserve and solid piercing damage um another one you could use i guess is like the road legend if you use the set bonus pet but i probably wouldn't recommend it and then if you want a free to play alternative i would probably recommend uh the exact wand but at that point you might as well just farm for the caramel wand because i think it's better than exact uh but this one isn't bad uh for the amulet you definitely want the uber amulet it gives you a whopping eight res with like 600 health it's so unbelievably strong so i would definitely recommend getting this to beef up your stats and same with the aphrodite ring it is so so strong for ice i mean just look at it compared to the duelist it's so much better in literally every single way so definitely take the time to farm for that uh for the pet i would recommend this it doesn't matter what the pet is on you could get a pet that gives you arctic zilla cards a pet that gives you ice bird but really it doesn't make that much of a difference but these are the stats that I would recommend personally. Can you run an aura? Can you run ward? Can you run other stuff? Sure. But I think overall, this is going to be the meta pet that I would recommend on most schools because you really take advantage of everything and kind of just make your stats really nice overall. Normally in the past, I wouldn't recommend Mighty, but with Maycast being nerfed and with Resist and Pierce being more important, Mighty kind of complements that really well. So with this pet, you get some extra damage, some extra Resist, and some extra Pierce. The Mighty is just really, really useful and it really just like i said beefs up your stats a little bit and it's just nice to play with so i would recommend a pet like this for the mount you don't even need one but i would recommend the clockwork courser if you have it just to get more pierce which is really important uh and then for the deck this is where it is important for ice obviously i would say that the duelist deck is the best stat wise you get some nice crit and block and good pip conserve while still getting good copies but the thing is ice really struggles to get damage now and it's very important for you to keep bubble control so a lot of people have been using the omen deck which you can craft uh sorry the the dark more deck which you can craft or the omen deck i would actually recommend this on a school like ice because like i said it's very important to keep bubble control and if you have a deck that only has six copies if you initiate it you may not be able to win the war and even if you don't initiate it if somebody else is running the dark more deck or the omen deck you may not be able to win it either so i would recommend uh the dark more deck but you can also run the omen deck because running bubbles is just really really important uh this is kind of all you can do with ice uh there are some 
some other setups where you could do like all father's robe and stuff like that but i don't really think it's worth it the only other setup i would recommend is if you want to be a little bit more on the damage side but still have good stats overall a really really good alternative is just swap out the croc cat for the dragoon as you can see it's so much better in every way except you lose res which is obviously bad but let's say you take that off you now don't have to run uh another piece of dragoon so you can use uber to get two extra damage if you wanted and then now you look at your stats your health is still really good and even your resist is solid 58 resist with 104 flat that's not bad at all you now get good enough accuracy where you don't even have to infall your damage has been improved from effectively i believe 103 or something like that to 116 which is really nice um and then your pierce is even better your pips are even better 99 instead of 95 uh and you get 131 shad so i personally probably prefer this setup but you do need to play a bit differently and i don't think it's as good because 50 15 resist is still 15 resist but yeah that's kind of all you can do for ice you can't really do too much with your gear setups and stuff but uh ice's stats are still extremely good i mean to have 11,000 hp with all these other stats is just incredibly strong so yeah that's it for ice let's move on to storm Alrighty, so for Storm, again, you'll see the same as the uh, what I did on the fire. I would recommend a resist setup. This is the setup I've been using on the Storm recently. Uh, you, you're basically just a tank. So you have about 7,500 HP, 118 damage, which is 114, 61 res, good accuracy, uh, really good crit and block, solid pierce, 37 is not bad at all, and then very low pips uh, compared to what I'd normally run, but it's totally fine because you run a lot of odd pip spells like Thunderbird, Catch of the Day, Empower, Sign, on there's just a lot of spells that you do that are on pips so it's okay if you have new pips uh that happen a lot so with this setup what i use is the mouser hat with the spooky robe dragoon boots and then the dragoon at dame and the amulet to get the set bonus for the wand i would personally recommend the exec wand i think this is the best wand for storm but you could use the new caramel wand um if you kind of want some pip conserve as well which is solid or you could use the celestia wand if you want more pip conserve and you might be thinking yo blake if you're using a lot of odd pip spells why not run a wand that gives you more pip conserve right uh which is a totally bad argument the the reason why i don't is because i have low pips and it's okay for me to have new pips because i'm going to be using a lot of odd pip spells in the first place so because i empower so much and i have a lot of uh my, my pit chance is already low compared to what i'd normally run i don't really need pip conserve that much at least from what i've noticed but you can run like caramel wand like i said if you do want more pip conserve uh for the ring you definitely want Af aphrodite uh it's not a huge upgrade compared to the duelist ring you don't get any more health or anything but you do get three more pips and one extra damage so in my opinion it is worth it it just allows you to do some you know cool strats uh with your setups and stuff like that for the pet this is what i'd recommend personally the may cast in foul is the only talent that you could potentially substitute for like mighty or an extra damage something like that uh but i kind of like having may cast in foul in my storm because storm is already so uh weak in the sense that it's very easy to counter if you go against somebody that just spam shields over and over again there's really not much you can do you kind of just get cooked um so with the may cast info it sort of allows you to get that extra pressure if you get that info at a good time you can strike and then having strike plus the info plus the pierce blade you can kind of just shred through shields so it's still good to have info in my opinion but you can definitely replace it for other towns uh for the mount again you can kind of do whatever you want depending on what you have and then for the deck i would recommend the duelist one um a better setup than this is instead of the spooky rope to use the gold robe uh it gives you like more health more pips more pierce stuff like that which is just flat out better i just don't have it but yeah if you want to get it it's from the gulchers pack i believe and it's just slightly better than the spooky but i do like that this setup gives me a lot of res um there's not too much else you could do uh a free to play setup uh just so that everybody can run this is if you had dragoon robe instead uh then at that point you could run like the uber thame i would personally recommend still running the uber amulet even though it's not as good stat wise as uh i mean sorry the dragoon amulet instead of the uber because the cards that it gave is so good squall wyvern does quite a lot of damage and it's a good minion killer so not only is it good to get rid of minions but it's also just a good card you can do for damage if you need to combo with the shatter something as a finisher so uh i personally like that but yeah you could rock these stats instead you do lose a bit of res uh but it does uh you know you get some pierce you get better pips stuff like that so it's not bad to use dragoon robe i just think it's better to use spooky or gold but you can do this with a free-to-play setup um i try to look at some damage setups instead 
that, but I don't think they really work. The only way I managed to make it work was by using like turquoise robe to get more damage and pierce and stuff like that. But I think turquoise robe is kind of outdated, and a school like Storm, you really need shads. So if you try to run like full out damage, like Dragoon Hat, turquoise robe, your shads are just too low, in my opinion. Yeah, you can make it work, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. So the only other alternative would be like the five piece goon setup, which I think is just a tiny bit outdated because if you look at your stats, obviously you can change the pet, you don't need sniper anymore. So you could go for like triple damage, double resist, something like that. And while you do increase your damage and your health, your resist tanks by quite a lot and your pierce actually goes down as well. Um, so I'm not sure if I would recommend this anymore, to be honest with you. Yeah, you can make it work, but I think just resist is better overall. So in my opinion, Gulcher Robe setup is the best. After that, Spooky and then Dragoons. You could also run the All Father's Robe. Uh, but again, like I talked about it earlier, the problem is, is that usually uh, it won't give you any value because like I so the only time it really works is if people spam a shield over and over again that's unprotected which usually they don't do they only do one shield at a time because they don't want to let you shatter them for value um so it doesn't really make sense right if somebody packs an aegis even if you shatter they'll probably just aegis another shield and then you're basically just wasting your pips or they'll do it so that they only have one shield at a time so shatter doesn't even get you value so you could do an all father's rope setup and then just use different pieces of dragoon gear but i personally wouldn't recommend it so yeah for for storm you want to run a resist setup and those are the best stats you can get on a storm storm still has very weak stats but you can still make it work and make it look nice so yeah moving on let's go to the myth Alrighty, so for the myth uh myth can get some really really nice stats with spooky robe uh the setup that i use is basically the same setup that i used before but with the uh aphrodite ring but let me just show you the stats overall so with this setup you get 8500 health which is pretty solid uh, a bit low compared to some other schools but it makes up for it with your crazy res and just insane offensive utility 116 damage which is actually 113 26 accuracy so you can't base fizz anything uh solid crit and block the only thing that that's kind of slacking about this setup is your pierce is low it's lower than even my ice uh but 31 is fine because you have so much pressure with king artorius which gives you a pierce blade and you have the time with your resist uh to be able to get double shad strike and then go for your combo uh and you still get good pips and good shads so with this setup i'm using the mouster hat with the spooky robe dragoon boots dragoon and thame and the dragoon amulet to get the triple bonus um it's also nice that you get the basilisk card which is again a good minion killer or just something you can use to follow up let's say for example you only have or, or let's say you have two shads right you're at 14 pips uh when you go into strike you go to the king art then you go for a yaga and they're still alive you can follow up with a bazzy so it's pretty nice to have just as a card uh for the ring aphrodite ring is the way to go uh for the wand i personally like the executive wand because i don't really feel that you need high pip conserve on a myth so i'd rather just have better pierce crit and damage but you could use the new caramel wand as well that is a good alternative uh for the pet this pet's a little bit outdated but honestly reliquary still casts a lot to the point where i might even prefer to use it over something else i still like to rock d lance with the setup because uh i have 97 pips with d lance on you don't need d lance though especially if you have rock mount you would actually have 95 pips which is totally fine but yeah i like this pet it actually works really well for me but you could use the uh like a similar pet to what i used on the ice which is like double damage double resist a breaker and mighty uh but reliquary still casts a ton and it's still very very solid for myth so that's definitely something that you could use as well uh for the actual pet itself you definitely want a maple moose uh mythic fuel in my opinion is an s tier card it is extremely extremely powerful when you combine it with all the other offensive utility cards that myth has uh like king art mystic yaga uh the list goes on dude minotaur it, it just mythic fuel is so powerful so you definitely want a maple moose ethereal knight or whatever it's called also works but it doesn't give as many copies uh just get yourself a moose it's worth it's worth it you'll thank me later uh for the mount again you could do whatever you want and then for the deck you could go for like an omen or dark more deck if you want to fight for bubble control but what i've noticed works really well on the myth is just go for your buffs get your mythic fuel up get your blades up and then if they bubble you can respond to it to make them cycle and to give you time to buy shads uh and to cycle your deck more but don't worry about it if you don't have bubble control which a lot of times you won't that's fine they'll waste their time and and obsess over keeping bubble control while you stack up your pips or your shads your buffs and then when you end up going for the combo it doesn't matter 
that they have a 25% damage bubble, you will just outdo them. So, uh, this is the setup that I would recommend. Now, if you don't have Spooky Robe, I want to show you guys a free-to-play setup like I've been doing with the other ones. You just take off the Spooky Robe, you run Dragoon Robe instead, and then you could take off the Dragoon Amulet and maybe run the Uber Amulet instead. The thing is, though, is that the Uber Amulet for Myth isn't really that much of an upgrade. As you can see, uh, yeah, you get one extra res, you get a little bit more HP, you get more uh, one more flat socket, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not that huge. Um, but you could do this. It does beef up, uh, you know, your stats a little bit. You get uh, better peers, better pips, better health, stuff like that. So this is definitely an alternative. Now, if you want to go for a glass cannon setup or like more damage, um, honestly, you could probably make the turquoise rub work on a myth just because your damage is so high. Um, with like your offensive spells that you can sort of use bubble and stuff to buy times uh buy time for shad and then by the time you get two shads that's all you really need because you can either strike you know king aryaga or you can just hit them twice with a shad you know what i mean so you could do turquoise show but honestly i wouldn't recommend going for a glass cannon setup in this meta but if you were you'd probably do something like dragoon hat turquoise robe or even dragoon robe with like boots and you already know so yeah but i would i would recommend resist on the mint with either the spooky robe ideally or the dragoon's rope um also there's another rope that i haven't talked about which is the harlequin rope which is actually quite solid it is something you can use but i just don't see a lot of players using it and it is pay to win so i don't really want to go over it too much but yeah that is also an alternative that you can use on some of these setups so yeah that's it for myth let's move on to the death all right, so with this uh, new update and the new kind of pets that people run, Death actually has some pretty juicy stats. So let me just go over it right away. So this is kind of the sort of uh, generic death setup with high resist. So let me show you it. You get about 9,300 health, which is really, really good for a school like Death. 115 damage, which isn't bad at all. It's effectively 112 with 65 resist and 104 flat. That is very tanky. Uh, this is the most resist that I've had on all the schools I've shown you besides my ice. Um, and it's really, really nice. And it makes up for your kind of low damage, low pierce. You have good enough accuracy that you don't base fizz anything. Your pierce is still not bad at all, being at 34. You have very good crit and block, very good shads, pips, and a decent pip conserve. And this setup overall is really solid. So what I use for this is I use the Crocat. You can use the Mali Hat as well, which will bring you up to 99 pips. Um, you can just look at the two together and see what you prefer. I think that Croc might be slightly better just because you do get uh, a tiny bit more HP and one more res, which allows you to play off Scion a little bit better. Um, so I would probably recommend the Croc out with this setup. But if you want to play a little bit more aggro, getting that one extra shad, the one extra pierce, and the better pips uh, is, is better with the Mouser hat. So you can really just do whatever you want for that one. Uh, for the robe, Dragoon robe is the way to go. Again, you could use something like All Father's robe, but the problem is, like I said, uh, either they'll just age us again once you shatter, or they'll just make it so that you, like, they'll only have one shield up. So what's the point of shattering one shield, right? Uh, uh, for the boots, obviously Dragoon, you don't want to use anything else. For the wand, um, I know a lot of people like to use uh, Pip Conserve wands on death, so that it can do stuff like Minotaur, Black Widow, uh, Dark Pact, stuff like that. And it's all good and, and nice and all, but I just don't think it's that worth it to set up your entire strategy around that. Um, it is useful sometimes, though, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's that important to have Pip Conserve on a death, but you could do it. Uh, there are alternatives to run like the festive uh, wrapping paper. You do give up some critical, and you do give up a pierce but in exchange for that you do get really nice uh pip conserve and you also get shadow wand hits which are nice to tick off debuffs without without getting rid of your blades uh, but the thing is with dark pact and stuff you're not really going to be doing that that often anyways so uh personally i would still recommend the exact wand but you could use the festive or the new caramel wand um for the athame you got the dragoon so you can get that triple bonus with the robe and the boots the uber amulet for death is so good as you can see if you compare these two it's literally better in every way you get more res more health you lose seven block but who cares you get an extra flat socket it's so good so definitely definitely get yourself the super amulet uh for the ring aphrodite is the move it is an upgrade compared to duelist you get more health more pips more damage better in every way basically for the pet this is what i would recommend and now you might be thinking yo what the heck bro no aura no vengeful it's not even on a sharpened pet what are you doing uh this pet is actually really really solid dude and and the reason why is because blade stack slash trap stack death doesn't really work that well uh anymore unfortunately and the, and the reason for that is because this meta kind of encourages encourages you to shield repeatedly so what are you gonna do against somebody that packs in you know six aegises in their deck and can literally just aegis that shield aegis that shield aegis that shield even if you shatter they'll aegis that 
that shield again and then by the time you try to go for a strike they might have earthquake you whatever it just isn't really that viable so what i've seen other players do and what i think is now the best setup for death is to basically be like other schools like ice and fire and go for an ot shad so you try to fight for bubble control and then you basically just you know dark packed get some blades up go for the poison and then follow up with like a triple buff chad so this pet is really solid you'll see me using this pet on a lot of my uh characters uh just because it just beefs up your stats and complements everything really really nicely so that's probably what i'd recommend uh for the mount again you can do whatever you want but i'd probably recommend clockwork or the rock mount and then for the deck i would actually recommend the omen deck and the reason why i would recommend the omen deck is because it's important for a school like like death which does low damage anyway with their base damage and their gear damage to get you know bubble control so with omen deck you can have eight copies which is really nice you can also have a bigger sideboard which is good too and the stats are pretty comparable to the dual stack you just kind of give up pip conserve uh that's about it so omen deck is really nice like i said you can get eight uh damage bubbles you can even pack some doom and glooms to deal with life and stuff like that so that's probably what i would recommend that's really all you can do for death um there are some other setups with you know turquoise robe all fathers uh harlequin stuff like that i just don't think they're worth it i think that this uh standard setup for death is really really solid in terms of stats wise it's just death kind of misses out in their spells and the damage output that they can do but other than that i mean your stats are pretty beefy you know you're gonna have 64 65 res solid peers solid crit blocks so these stats are definitely not bad at all and you should definitely try them out so let me know what you guys think and this pet is actually also pretty good you do get a dark packed card which is nice um and you also get a death blade card so while you do give up that sharpen you're not really going to be blade stacking anyway and you still have regular sharpen so it's all good anyway hope you guys enjoyed let's move on to the life Alrighty, so let me show you what I think are some good stats on the Life Wizard. So, you would actually have 10,000 HP. It's just I am missing the Tear Socket. So, add another, you know, 125, 135 health, and you have over 10,000, which is really, really good. Uh, 65 res, so just like the Death, which is really solid. You'd also have 104 flat. It's just I'm missing the Sockets. Solid damage, uh, good enough accuracy that you can't base fizz, decent crit block, solid pierce, and then perfect pips with, with really good uh, shadow rating and very nice pip conserve. So, to get these stats, what you want to do is use the Mouser hat. You could use the Croc hat actually in this setup. You would give up three pips, but uh, you're already at 101. So being at 98 would be okay. So Croc hat could definitely be an alternative if you don't have the Mali hat or if you want even more res. For the robe, Dragoon is the way to go. Uh, there are some alternatives. You could use Spooky, Gulcher, etc. But the Dragoon robe for life is just so solid and you get that set bonus, which I would strongly recommend. Uh, boots, Dragoon, there's no debate. These are the best ones. For the wand, I would personally recommend the Merry wrapping paper uh, a lot of people have been saying the new caramel wand for life is good yeah you can farm for that i just don't think that the stat upgrade is that huge really all it is is you get a tiny bit more crit in exchange for some pip conserve i think that's about it uh which is not bad but i still think festive is probably better overall just because if you want to go for a pip conserve setup it's better to have that but you could do that uh there's also the exact wand uh which is decent you know you do get a bit of critical but you are giving up one pierce and the pip conserve so i would personally recommend the merry wrap paper or the caramel uh for the theme and the amulet you can kind of do uh one goon and one uber depending on what you have a lot of people like the dragoon amulet because you get the aoe as a minion killer and it's a set bonus but if you've already got the robe and the boots you could do uh the dragoon and theme with the uber amulet to get more res but the Uber Dame is really good too. As you can see, it's an upgrade in literally every way. You do lose two healing uh, percent, but you gain more health, more block, and more damage. So you can either go Uber Thame with the Dragoon Amulet or the Uber Amulet with the Dragoon Thame, depending on whatever setup you'd like to do. For the ring, you definitely want the Aphrodite. As you can see, it's a big upgrade. 100% would recommend that. For the pet, uh, Fern Lumi is probably the way to go. You do get those two uh, life fuel cards, which is really, really good. As for the stat itself, I would probably use what I've been using on my other pets, which is basically a double damage, double resist, armor breaker, mighty pet. It's just, I don't have that and I still need to make it. But yeah, this pet is also solid if you have fortify, not a huge deal. But I would probably take out the fortify for mighty, just to beef up my stats a bit. Uh, for the mount, again, as the other schools, you could do whatever you want, but I'd probably recommend clockwork just to get extra pierce if you do have it. Uh, and then for the deck, duelist is really good. Uh, good crit, good block, good copies, good pip conserve, very nice overall. You could run like, oh, 
Omen or Darkmoor, but you really don't need to. Life can uh, pack in six Sanctuaries and six damage bubbles, which is just absolutely nuts. So as a life, you're basically going to win the bubble war every single time, not to mention that you already have Brown Spider. So yeah, that's kind of the main life setup that I would recommend. Um, and then the other setup you could do is with the Satish's Raiment. I don't think that this one is that good, honestly. With Satish's Raiment, you're kind of playing passively. Your stats aren't as good. And in exchange, you get the minus 90 Ifri, which is extremely strong and it sounds good on paper. It's just you're kind of playing very defensively in that sense and sort of just countering their strike at that point, which is okay. But I just don't think it's worth it or as fun. But if you do want to run it, uh, you, you want to put on the Satish's Raiment. And then really, it's just the same exact stats, but you're going to need to rock double dragoons to make up for the set bonus loss if you still want pip conserve if you don't care about the set bonus at all then you only need one piece or sorry you only need two pieces so that you make sure you get that accuracy so that you can't base fizz so you could run the uber thame or you could run the uber amulet at that point if you don't care uh, but otherwise the stats are the same that's what i think is the best for life honestly um you could rock like a ward setup. You could run like all fathers, uh, you know, and go for like a one shot. I've seen some people run uh, myth mastery on the life, which is also very, very good. If you run myth mastery, I would recommend just doing uh, the first setup that I showed you guys with the uh, dragoon's robe and everything. Except instead of going with the you know dragoon uh, athame and uber amulet, you can now go with the myth uh, mastery amulet, which is quite solid from what I've seen. You do have no accuracy with this setup, so like let's say you want to use earthquake, you have a twenty percent chance of. But because you're so beefy and so tanky and you can heal and stuff, it's okay if you fizzle an earthquake here and there. So from what I've heard, Myth Mastery on the life is extremely powerful as well because you can use it for Medusa, you can use it for Earthquake. I've even seen some people use Yaga on a life, which is just hilarious. So that is another setup you could try as well. Uh, but I think it's a little bit more uh, complex and not as straightforward, but it is extremely good. So yeah, that is what I would recommend on the life. Let's go to the balance. Last, but definitely not least, we have the balance. So in this meta, I would say balance is the most fun school to play, in my opinion. Obviously, this is a subjective question, so everybody will have their own opinion. But I think balance is so much fun to play if you play it in a fun way. I see a lot of balances that literally just spam set shields, spam empower, spam brace, spam weakness, and spam mana burn literally the entire game. I don't think that's very fun. How I play balance is very, very aggressive compared to the average balance player, and I think that makes it a lot more fun so the setup that i use is tailored to that kind of play style but i'll show you another setup as well which is pretty similar so this is the only school where i would actually recommend the turquoise robe if you use it in an offensive way if you don't play offensively then turquoise robe is going to do uh it's going to hurt you more than it helps you but i really like the turquoise robe personally and let me show you why so with these stats you get about 9500 health which is very very solid uh 122 damage effectively which is also pretty good 64 res with good Good enough accuracy that you can't base fizz 37 pierce so as you can see my stats are pretty good offensively uh with solid crit block and then uh good pips and the shadow rating is a bit bad but balance is the one school where you can afford to give up shadow rating because you sort of control the match i don't really use shads that often anyway uh besides maybe you know gaze to change the bubble do some damage and mock control but really otherwise you're getting the majority of your damage through spells like mana burn uh iron curse stuff like that so um balance is the one school you can uh, afford not to do it now the reason why i run turquoise rope is because even though i'm giving up shads i'm giving up health i'm giving up re resist block stuff like that uh balance is a chip school the way that it's played in this meta you don't really go for one shots now there are some setups you can trap stack chimera stuff like that but the majority of players that that play balance and the way that kind of the school is designed to be played is as a chip school and now what i mean by that is that you're you're slowly chipping your opponent down with hit after hit after hit after hit so because of that you'll find a lot of your games uh really come down to the wire where you have to calculate does this kill does this combo kill it's not like some schools where it's like okay i, I put up you know the king art yacht and I my yaga does 15,000 and now they you know I, I overkill them right with balance you rarely overkill and because of that maximizing your your base kit damage and pierce and create i think are really important so the gear that i use to make this happen is the mouser hat with the turquoise robe uh dragoon's boots and then double uh dragoon for the athame and the amulet so i can get the set bonus to get some more pip conserve this chimera card is also really nice you don't need it as much anymore because now you have iron curse to deal with minions but it's still really good damage for for pips and if you need that minion gone right away it's really nice to have not to mention that it basically comes already enchanted so 
it's still very good and I still use it all the time even though I pack in four iron curses in my deck uh for the wand I use the executive one and I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh hello why are you using the exact one like don't don't you want uh you know a festive or don't you want the caramel one so you can get pip conserve like I said, balance is a chip school. So the reason why I use the exec wand over the festive or the uh, wrapping paper is because you get uh, better stats, right? You get 72 more critical, which actually does make quite a difference. It increases not only your critical multiplier, but I believe your critical chance as well. Not by much, but it does help with balance being a chip school. You get more pierce and you also get a balance wand. And the balance wand actually does a lot of damage. Even if I'm hitting through a tower shield, if it's against an aggro school and I have something like a bubble, that's 150 damage and let's say you want them five times right which is the same as you know uh somebody going for like a pierce or whatever right 150 times five that's that adds up you know what i mean you you doing 750 damage or what or whatever with just your wand that adds up and with bounce being a chip school it's just so nice so for me i'm personally willing to give up a little bit of pip conserve to get more aggro stats and a bounce wand. there are also times where i'll deck fail or they they won't shield when i expect them to and i won't have a turn you can just just send the wand to it and do 300 damage for zero pips and it's really not that bad so i personally like the executive one but again you have to play in an aggro way you cannot play passively with this setup you really need to take uh the reins and kind of get control of the match and uh just put in work so i like the exact one personally i think it's really fun to use on the bounce but a lot of other people will tell you caramel or festive for the pip conserve which is totally viable uh, for the ring, you definitely want Aphrodite. Obviously, again, it's an upgrade from the Duelist. For the pet, uh, as you can see, I'm using the same pet that I've recommended on my Ice and my Death and some of the other schools. I think this is meta, honestly, to use double damage, double resist, and breaker. Uh, it really just beefs up your stats, and it's just worth it now because make Cazors are too inconsistent to be reliable, uh, and Ward is kind of just sweaty and not necessary a lot of the times. So this is just a really nice combination of beefing up all your stats and just not having to worry about make cast obviously i brace on my pet but i use it more just to socket defy and not have to socket something else uh for the mount clock recourser is the best but it doesn't really matter you can do whatever you want or have no mount at all and for the deck i would recommend the duelist because you do want pip conserve now you might be thinking yo your pip conserve must be garbage right i still get 32 percent which really isn't that bad that's like a one in three chance that i'll pip conserve obviously it's nowhere near the 80 percent that you would do with a more pip conserve uh setup with like the wand and stuff but like i said i think that the extra damage makes up for it uh the other setup that i'd recommend for the balance is literally the exact same setup except instead of turquoise you're going to want to go with dragoon robe and then instead of the dragoon amulet you're going to want to go with the uber one this makes your stats uh better overall uh in terms of defensive you get 9700 hp instead of 94 you get 66 res instead of 64 with better flat res as well and you do get better shots and now this does look very good right uh but the thing is keep in mind you are giving up damage you do give up about 11 percent damage which again does matter because balance is a chip school and you are giving up two pierce as well so is it is it a huge downgrade compared to you know turquoise compared to goons no you're probably honestly even better with dragoons rope overall i just find that turquoise is way more fun and that extra damage it is noticeable the extra 11 percent base damage because balance can't really get buffs in other ways right you're really relying on your base damage you're not going to be buffing yourself uh with blades or traps like other schools can uh at best you might have a bubble up that's 25 percent which is about it so in my opinion base damage is still very important and every little bit of pierce helps as well but this setup is very good especially if you slap on like the caramel one you can get like uh like if you put on festive one i think you get about 79 percent pip conserve somewhere in that ballpark 81 percent so your your uh pip conserve shoots up but keep in mind you are sacrificing some other stats and you're also losing you losing that uh bounce wand hit which can do some really nice chip damage as well so it kind of just depends how you like to play bounce uh uh, but personally, I like to play uh, more aggro. I think it's a lot more fun. And I think it's also more fair than kind of playing that sort of, you know, passive balance where you sort of just spam mana burn. Another thing too is you really don't need more than six mana burns. Six burns will do you more than enough, especially if you're playing with the aggro setup. Uh, I see a lot of players running like the Darkmoor deck and just empower, brace, set shield, mana burn, weakness over and over and over. And it's just so boring. And I don't even think it's that good. You know what I mean? It's just a really annoying play style that often goes to Diego. 
videos. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Those are the best gear setups for every school at max level. Uh, if this becomes outdated, I will make a new video, uh, just like I did with this one, as the other one became outdated. So don't worry. But yeah, that's what I think are the best sort of generic, all inclusive uh, setups for every single school. I tried to include free to play setups with every single one of them, so that everybody would have a uh, uh, an option to use so yeah thank you guys for watching i really really appreciate it uh this video took me a long time to make and i would really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and you know share it uh show some love it would mean a lot to me hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video as always peace out guys